guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. I'm super excited because I am doing a whole video series on making over our RV that we are moving into full time. So we are currently standing in the master bedroom, which is the topic of today's video. It is going to be a full start to finish remake of this bedroom. We're going to be painting the walls, doing a headboard accent wall, an accent wall over in the corner. Each of those are gonna have their own separate videos, but I'm gonna take you on the complete transformation start to finish of this bedroom. And also make sure to go check down in the description box below. I will have a whole playlist on our RV update series. That way you guys can go check out all of those as we add them. This is the full transformation transformation of the RV master bedroom. So the first thing we decided to do was take down these closet doors. Though the mirrors were great and it made the space feel really big, it actually blocked us from really being able to get into the closet. And so David suggested that we take down just those and then once I started doing that I realized I needed to take down the entire framework. Next step is moving out this very large bed, aka a normal size bed in a very small space and we needed to prep the room. So I went around and took down all of the window shades. We puttied up holes that were left over from the screws from the valances. And then I mixed a little bit of TSP and water so I could give the walls a good scrub down. I went back through and used some blue tape. Despite normal projects where I never actually use tape, I decided to use it here, which is fine. That leads us to the next step of the project, which is priming all of the walls. So I used this Kilts 3 interior primer. I did two coats of primer on everything to make sure that it was nice and fully covered. I did notice that the paint stuck well with the roller, but it actually was a lot easier to do with the foam brush or a regular bristle brush, so keep that in mind when you're doing your project. After the primer and second coat of primer and a couple days later, I went ahead and painted. I used the Sherwin-Williams Ovation Plus in the color Oxford White. Here's where the fun starts to take shape in this project. This is some wallpaper that I got off of Amazon. I absolutely love these tulips. I did an entire video of this feature headboard wall, so I will leave that linked in the description box below for you guys. That way you can see a more detailed look of this project. But basically I'm taking this wallpaper and hanging it along the back where the headboard would be.
This next project is also a video that I did specifically here on this channel. It is a faux wallpaper feature wall. This is actually done with Sharpie paint pens and a stencil and this is a hair and bone pattern that I got off of Etsy so I'll leave that down in the description box below for you guys as well as this full video so you can go back and watch it for yourself. All right, and now we pick back up where we left off of updating this entire room. I picked up this tension rod as well as these curtains at Walmart. I decided to go with a darker colored tension rod because I thought it would look great tying into the wood detailing, and this is the perfect closet door. It's nice and sheer, so it's not completely blocked off, but it also gives a separation. And then here you can see I have that same material. This was actually from an old curtain that I had thrifted and I had cut up, which is funny enough now that I know that where they got it from in the first place. I found these clips on Amazon and I took that curtain rod, actually painted it black. It was originally white, those cheap like dollar ones from Walmart. I painted all of those black like a couple months ago in preparation for this project. Anyways, we are hanging up these curtains finally in this little nook I mentioned in the feature headboard video that I hadn't picked out the curtains yet and now I finally did and I absolutely love how they turn out. I love that we have the blackout curtain shade still with a touch of fanciness from these sheer curtains on top. Hanging up your curtain rods isn't too challenging, but you do have to remember that you are in an RV and these walls are thin, so you want to keep that in mind when you are hanging anything up, not using command hooks. These went on pretty smoothly for me, but I did have a little bit of issue at the beginning, so I wanted to mention that for you guys. When we first moved everything into the RV, we put David's box of books just on this shelf and I wanted to do something really cool with them so I decided to take all of his books and display them on this shelf. You may think that I'm doing this style because it is trendy, but believe me when I say I have been putting things in color order since I was about nine and I called it color medical order. My closet has always been organized like this, and so I decided to do these books on the shelf displayed in color order as well, letting them be color medical just like it fits my style. On either end, I did find these faux succulents from Walmart to use as bookends, and I think they are super cute. In this corner here is where we have kept our diffuser and so I'm going to continue to keep it there and just organizing all of our essential oils. I use Young Living and I absolutely love those oils. And then you can see here I have a little water cup for it. And then tucked into the cabinet is the plug for this diffuser.
All right, guys, just wow. I am blown away with this transformation of this RV. It is incredible. I am so looking forward to filming more videos in here, having this amazing backdrop, and just getting to enjoy this space with my husband. I am so impressed with my work that I did here. Make sure that you go check out the other videos if you haven't of this faux wallpaper wall as well as this feature headboard wall. And you can also check out other videos that I've made in the DIY category here on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome makeover. I'm absolutely in love with it. If you are as well, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that shows YouTube that you enjoy this video and that they should push it out to more people, which would be amazing for so many people to see this transformation video. If you have not already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I post videos every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I'll check back with you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.